Welcome back to Taco Bowler Gaming. My name is Taco Bowler. Today we are continuing our run in Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom, playing Yugi's campaign this time. And we are engaging in the second fight, Fury of the Empire. So here we are at night. It's awfully quiet. There doesn't appear to be any enemy movement. Yes, we seem to be lucky. The enemy doesn't know that we're here. According to our scouts, the closest fort isn't guarded at all. Let's use the opportunity to take the fort and fortify a defensive position there. So, that's the plan. Um, you do have roaming monsters in the forest south of Kriot. Alright, so forest way down there. And I'm going to send my forest team. Um, well, we'll send the forest team here. And then I'll go ahead and send you. I think you'll be okay. But I'm going to keep Yugi in the back. Just in case. There are four, so... Uh, yeah, we got two in that spot. So one of those two is going to come and try to take this fort back from us. So that's what... What, uh, what is it? Shimon? Shimon is going to have to try to fend off. At which point, if that is successful, then we'll send uh, Shimon here, Kai Yugi all the way up here, and uh, after the forest, um, you'll try and clean up the new area. So they're going to talk about equipment and defenses, etc., etc. We should be okay. Now, I don't think that the cannon is going to be able to do much of anything here, but... Uh, We should be able to do our own thing here. So this is where where we're going, down there. But Shiman should be able to hold them all, I expect. Are there any items on the team? I highly doubt it. Oh yeah! A blue medicine on a very weak no health points. 854. We should be able to knock that out with our items. Let me check the shopping guide and see. I don't think there's anything that I overly well need uh, there is a place to get some uh, some black pennants and dragonic attacks and electro whips if you need those. Uh, we also get some legendary swords, some beast fangs, and some book of secret arts. So there's some good things in Diathan and Fothuth? Fothwow? Something like that. Um, so good things in those two places, but I do not currently need any of those things, so we will just continue to save up our money. Maybe build some defensive situations. So yeah, we want to uh, knock you down, at least confuse you, you medicine person. If we can confuse you, then uh, you can't heal anyone else, but um, if that person's going to guard, that's the one I would care about knocking out the most anyway, so we'll just finish you off then. Goodbye. And uh, we'll try to knock out the middle one now. Guardian Blade. I think that Zoa's Knight Adept, and that's why he has three now. Not overly certain. Let's, yeah, Knight Adept, so. Good to, to be Knight Adept, that's helpful. Not going to be overly helpful though to uh, get knocked out. If you get knocked out, I don't want that. So you're gonna need to red medicine yourself. And then you can take one shot at this guy, and then we're gonna have to take three hits from him. Assuming he doesn't guard or miss. Which is an assumption with the AI in this game. They like to do their guarding. Crit. Wait, let's let's see uh, what happens with this. I think I'm gonna wind up healing after this this attack, just to make sure that I got three left. Because although I can now build a healer, I don't really want to spend that kind of money. Not overly eager. You know, you could have guarded there. 
I wouldn't have said no. All right. So we win, so he's going to get knocked out for that five seconds. Can't complain. I think we have this fight in the bag. We're going to go ahead and send Yugi to begin his movement. Of course, with Moisture Creature, he's going to be really fast anyway. I don't know if the roaming monsters are going to attack first or not, though. They might. They might. Uh, one thing I should mention is that unlike Kaiba's campaign, all of these marshals that we have right now will continue on with you and will stay with you the entire campaign. So there's nothing that you have to worry about. You know, I don't want to give experience to this person. He's not going to be with me or anything like that. Every one of these three will be with us the entire campaign. So uh, training them up to be, you know, good marshals or the main ones are, are good. I think that Shiman has a little bit better statistics than Fizz does. Um, but uh, obviously Yugi's the best one of, of three. But that could just be because I like to use Shiman a lot more than, than Fizz does regularly. Um, so it could be that, that she just gets gets higher levels than Fizz does, does for me, usually. Alright, go ahead and attack there, and here we go with roaming monsters. And so we have these three roaming monsters. Mystic Horseman, Hain Hain, and Man Eater Bug. We've seen some of these as we've gone through. Um, but I don't think anything has their specials yet. Well, maybe they do. What level are they? Yeah, 32s. Um, lots of action points. Not overly strong, but they are not dragons, so they're, they've got that going for them. Um, don't plan to use any of them on my team, I don't think. But it is worth noting that Mystic Horseman is a part of one of the polymerization teams, I believe. Let me make sure of that. Before I say it, yes. So it is uh, one of the polymerization monsters. Uh, one that I will not be showing off until the uh, bonus polymerization episode at the end of this whole thing. But uh, it is worth noting that it is one you would need to be training up if you wish to use all of the polymerization monsters. And he probably is the best of these three. But we're not going to use any of them. We just do want to get them shown. And here we go. This is going to easily take care of this team now. This will be an easy victory. Although we're higher level than the roaming monsters, so... Maybe not as easy. Alright, we should be able to knock out Hain Hain, and then we'll probably knock out the whole team, but uh, certainly once this is complete, we should have no issues. Uh, we're going to attack. We're not going to waste the, the massive damage of the perfectly ultimate Great Moth on attacking 100. Not going to do that. There's no need at this moment. You can attack the 100 instead. There we go. Paralysis Skype. And here we go. This should do it. And all three of these will join the team. There we go. Oh, Big Insect got another action point. Fantastic. Level 50 is really strong. Probably overpowered for uh, for this part of the campaign. <laughs> but hey. You know, this is mainly to show off the story. It's not really to show off the hard gameplay aspects of it. That's for sure. Um, Yugi, being as fast as he is, may get there first. I'm not actually sure who's going to get there, so I'm just going to kind of hang out over here and just kind of wait. It does look like Fizdiz is going to win out, win out there, so let's look at Fizdiz attacking 
this lovely place. Uh, this is Crothy. Crothy. Detention center. Detainees long for the resistance to set them free. I already used that word once. Don't need YouTube coming down even harder on me. Alright, let's see if there's any uh, actions here or any uh, uh, specials or items. Poison Twin Claws does have the poison on it now. No items. We do have a uh, Forest Adept and Dark Rap. Really? That's very interesting. I mean, this is the team that's designed to be Forest Adept, so Dark Rabbit could have played a part on that. Interesting. I think that Big Insect is still better than Dark Rabbit, but I will take a look at that. So, certainly take a look at that. Because Dark Rabbit eventually will have the ability to take away action points, and that is certainly something we want to consider having on our team. Uh, at this point, yeah, we're going to go after the most action points with the fewest health points. Go after that middle one and the only one with a special. Definitely the target. Not a special attack, but a special ability. Definitely the target is the middle. So in this case, it's actually good for him to spread his damage around. Because he's spreading around the poison as well. But, uh... Not going to save him. Not going to save him, I don't think. Spinning Dynamite Punch. And poison is something that can be cured on its own, as we see happen right there. But not of my Great Moth. Not that I really need to worry about it. So many health points on that. There we go. So now what I gotta figure out is if I want to who I want to use to attack the main base. My guess is Yuki. But I don't know for sure. Because Yuki's only got one Egyptian god card to use. <laughs> so to fight two battles with him uh, does mean we're, we're going to go into one battle with uh, that one attack on on uh, Moisture Creature and nothing else. Probably can get away with that on the, the first fight here, and then we can use the, the big boys, the big guns, at the, the second fight. The main boss... I'm not overly certain that uh, this one has another fight in it. Let's let's use a blue medicine here. But yeah, I'm not overly certain that they've got another fight in them. So I think it is down to Fizdiz or Yugi, which obviously Fizdiz has another fight in them. Easy. But uh, we also don't need to train that team up any further. It's, it's good where it is. Ah, you guard with those two. It's going to make my choices easy. As to who to attack. So no one has any items. That's good. Stone eyes. So at this level, um, the snake hair over there does get paralysis. So if she attacks, she will paralyze uh, my monster. And that can wear off, but it is still a very debilitating uh, and frustrating status condition to have. But she guarded, so we'll take out them all. She guarded again. She's dictating my attack. Well, I mean, that's fine. I'll let you guard. Not overly eager to fight you anyway. The question I have, though, is... I think I'm going to go for the knockout here. They could then paralyze Zoa, and they could theoretically knock Zoa out. 
um, with three attacks while I'm sitting here begging for the chance to heal. But I think that's better than facing off with the the three attacks that I was able to knock out there. I did get another guard, and 73 I survived. That's red medicine. Because you're going to have to come back anyway. You're not going to knock out Snake here in one shot. So, a victory, and uh, we'll come back. Hopefully uh, we can avoid being paralyzed too much. And hopefully we can, can knock it out. They shouldn't be able to do that much damage in just that many action points. Fingers crossed. And I think that Fizz is going to get the fight just simply for time. We might be able to let Shimon take a stab at it. I mean, it is an early game fight. We can kind of see how strong they really are. Take a look at them. But there's no healing items. Maybe. Maybe it could happen. So yeah, so they're spreading around the paralysis, which is actually good for me, because that means they're not teaming up on Zola. So it's very possible that he's going to get the next however many attacks they have, next three attacks. But my guess is that they're not going to be able to knock me completely out in those three attacks. Probably not even going to be able to knock out one monster in those next three attacks, especially if you miss. And then once they're done, I get my turns, and we all move on. Life is good. So, knock that one down. Especially if they don't team up. Don't pile on. Knock it out. Alright, let's see what the enemy has there and see whether Fist is or the other is going to get set up. Because I think we're going to be in position to fight right after Yugi's done, and that way we won't have to cut or worry about time. So, let's see what they have. Nothing. Nothing. But I think that you can, uh, you can get very, very close. Uh, we do need to heal, though. That is certainly a thing. Yugi's going to attack first, but I think that Shima can get there before Yugi can wrap back around. We'll certainly have that be the case. Moist creature going over those mountains, not the fastest. But hey, is what it is. I'm not really sure how strong Yugi is without summoning the Egyptian God Guard. This enemy not the strongest either, so... We're gonna go for it. Just fight on his own. Don't really rely on that if I can avoid it. But I maybe should give it to one of the other ones that has actually ac has action points. <laughs> Just in case I decide I need it later. Missing and spreading out damage, which will help me immensely. I'm 
going to go ahead and attack. Probably should have healed, but I'm going to go ahead and attack. Tired, I'm not thinking straight, which is fine. Knock this one back. There we go. There's a chance. Bear from it have... Yes, he has medicine. There's a chance. We can get it done. I'm going to take that chance. No, it's Yugi's team. But I don't think Yugi's team's in danger of getting knocked out. So... Oh, it's even better if you spread out your attack. Heal. And Yugi wins. And we'll come back for another round. That'll help Shiman get even closer. For sure. I don't know when Moist Creature gets his next action point. It's the first time I've actually played through with it, so... I'm just kind of stubbornly <laughs> staying with it. It's not... It, it's really powerful, it's really good, but it's really frustrating, too. <laughs> Alright. And attack. It's strong attack. Tiger Axe is a very, very strong monster, but he's just not going to be able to carry a team on his own. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, come on. Twelve. Thank you for letting me attack next, because I would have been incredibly frustrated. There we go. Peace. A dominating victory. Level 30, wasn't it? <laughs> I mean, I think they only end with three, if I'm remembering correctly, so it's not like we're, we're about to get a ton or anything like that. Still. All right, let's see what you can do. You've done well for a bunch of misfit rebels. It's been a long time since an enemy got me this excited, but playtime is over. It won't be long before you beg Sebekel for mercy. And he probably thinks that he won't give any mercy, but neither will we when we win. All right, so we do. I do see here a uh, monster with 813 health points. I wonder if anything is... I think nothing had a, uh, an item. That's why we sent this team in the first place. Though this would have been a good team to send with items, because we can confuse. But yeah, nothing has an item. Except for that legendary sword, which is not something that we need to worry about in terms of doing anything about it. So let's try and knock out the uh, very low health point here, and then make a decision because the next lowest health point guarded. So I think we're going to attack the middle. Because they didn't guard. And we can do our full amount of damage. Here we go. But now you're higher than the other one, so might as well finish it off. I don't think there's any uh, red medicines there in the middle anymore, so we need to heal from the outside. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. I think if we both hit, we can knock him out. And then we don't have to worry about Zoa being defeated. If you fail to hit, you get knocked out, and you deserve it. There we go. That is a win. 
And they should be back before Yugi gets down here. I think. I think Yugi is fast. And Zoa is not. Still. Here we go. I know in one of these campaigns, Tristan will join at the end. Might be here. Might be the next one. I think it is this one. Tristan will join. And that'll free some things up for us. Alright, let's finish this off and get the victory. There we go. Alright. Level 21 on Barrel Dragon. Not bad. Not bad at all. Gah! You'll pay for that. I was going to let you live, but not now. Yep, there it is. Yugi! Yugi, it's you! Oh, Tristan, what are you doing here? Trapped in the game? Just like you, I guess. Joe and the others are here, too. I was just with them a little while ago. Yeah, the, the timeline doesn't work out for that, but we'll go with it. Kaiba's working for the Empire. And to losing to him, we felt it was safer to split up. Kaiba? Yep, I'm not sure why he's here, but he is. Anyway, I came to the island to organize my own resistance army. I should have known that you'd be leading the resistance. It's a role I was given. Where's everyone else? I don't know. We all separated and went underground to gather followers for the resistance. My guess is that they're still on the mainland trying to gather support from new units. If we keep fighting against the Empire, we're sure to run into them again. Good point. I don't think we have any other options anyway. Well, since I'm already here, I'm yours to command, Mr. Resistance Leader. At ease, soldier. It's good to have a familiar face on my team. And it is indeed a good thing to have a familiar face on the team. Let's take a look at his team. So I've already gone over the Mystic Horseman, Hain Hain, and Maneater Bug. We'll take a look at Tristan's team as well. With well, the southern, southern Farms freed, the Resistance now controls the western half of Vaxi Island. But Capulia, the ruler of Tuscut, has re-established order in the, inland, in the island capital and plans to subdue the resistance. He's put his trusted marshal, Granis, in charge of a large force and dispatched them to the west. Granis' enormous army is moving steadily west along the central way, heading straight for Makad. Alright, well the Empire has finally dispatched a large unit to hunt us down. This resistance will suffer casualties if we try to fight them head on. Do you have suggestions? Hmm. The Imperial forces don't consider us a serious threat yet and are not being as cautious as they should. Therein lies the opportunity. What do you mean? There's a fort along the central way, and the enemy plans to move its main force there on the way to, to Scoot. The fort is completely empty right now. We might be able to spring a trap on them there. Interesting. We can attack them with fire. Exactly. I'll get started on the preparations immediately. Tristan's team! Consists of swordsmen from a foreign land. Not overly strong, good action points. Giant soldier of stone, really weak, bad action points. And the gazelle of Mi king of mythical beasts. Important, this is one of the polymerization teams. So uh, I will get that ready and get going in the next campaign. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do like, please do comment, please do subscribe down below. All that good stuff, and I will see you next time.